Hello and welcome. Let's talk about antihistamine drugs. Now, histamine antagonist includes physiological antagonists like adrenaline, or releasing inhibitors like chromolin, nidochromil, and beta-2 agonist, and receptor antagonists like H1 antagonist, S2 antagonist, and S3 antagonist, which includes theoperamide, globin, propit. Now, H1 receptor antagonist. The chemistry includes structural resemblance to histamine and it is a stable amine and contains ethyl amine group but no imidazole ring. And this is a general structure of H1 receptor antagonist. Now classification of H1 receptor antagonist. First generation and second generation. First generation includes ethanolamine like carbinoxamine, diminhydrinate, diphenhydrinate, doxylamine, ethylene diamine like tripylenamine, piperazine derivatives like hydroxy, Zin, cyclizine, meclizine, and alkalamines like chlorpheniramine, bromipheniramine, and phenothiazine derivatives like promethazine, and miscellaneous includes cyproheptadine. The second generation includes loratadine, disloratadine, cetrizine, fexofenadine. Now, it is rapidly absorbed from GIT, and the duration of action is 4 to 6 hours for first and 12 to 24 hours for second generation. The cetrizine is not extensively metabolized and 60% are excreted unchanged. Drug interaction occurs in the second generation and more likely to block autonomic receptors in first generation. Now, mechanism of action. H1 antagonists competitively and reversibly block the H1 receptor and they have negligible potency at the H2 receptor and little at the H3 receptor. They have no ability to block histamine release. Pharmacological effects. In second generation, it only blocks histamine receptor, but first generation blocks histamine receptor, cholinergic receptor, alpha receptor, 5-HT receptor, and local anesthetic receptor site. Now, effects due to histamine H1 receptor blocked. It inhibits allergic response and uh, decreases skin rash and urticaria, decreases pruritus, decreases vascular endothelial permeability, and relaxes bronchial smooth muscle leading to reduced bronchospasm. Decrease cough receptor stimulation and decrease flushing and decrease headache. Now, effects not related to histamine, H1 receptor blockade includes sedation and drowsiness, which is a common effect of first generation, and anti nausea and anti emictive effect, which is a significant effect of first generation. Anti motion sickness, anti Parkinsonism effects, anti cholinergic effects, adrenoc receptor blocking effects by promethazine, serotonin block effect, local anesthetic effect by first generation, anti-inflammatory effect by cetrizine. Clinical uses includes allergic reaction to prevent or treat the symptoms like allergic rhinitis, acute or chronic urticaria, hay fever, atopic dermatitis, angioedema, bronchial asthma, motion sickness and vestibular disturbances, Parkinsonism and for induction of the sleep. Adverse effects include sedation, diminished alertness, impairment of the cognitive function, Confusion, dizziness, and tinnitus. Adverse effects others include anticholinergic effects like dry mouth, blurred vision, fever, flushed face, and decreased GIT motility, and postural hypertension, excitation, irritability, hyperactivity, insomnia, visual hallucination, seizure, and drug interaction may be seen. Now, difference between first and second generation. There is long duration of the action, long half life, once daily dosing, delayed onset of action, less sedative effects. And patient compliance is good, less lipid soluble, inter-CNS with difficulty, and minimal anticholinergic alpha blocking, anti serenin and anti-Parkinsonism effect are seen in case of the second generation drugs. End of the topic.